Hello and welcome to Monsters, Myths, and Murderers. Grady Franklin Stiles Jr., born in 1937, was a freak show performer. His deformity was ectrodactyly, in which the fingers and toes are fused together to form claw-like extremities. Stiles' stage name was the Lobster Boy. The Stiles family had a long history of ectrodactyly. Stiles was the sixth in a line that began with the birth of William Stiles in 1805. Greddy Stiles' father was a sideshow attraction in a traveling carnival when his son was born and added his son to the act at a young age. Stiles married twice and had four children, two of whom also had ectrodactyly. Stiles and his two children toured together as the Lobster family. When not traveling with the carnival the Stiles family lived in Gibsonton, Florida where many other carnival performers lived during the winter season. Stiles was an alcoholic and was abusive to his family. Due to his deformity, he was unable to walk. While he often used a wheelchair, he most commonly used his hands and arms for locomotion. He developed substantial upper body strength that, when combined with his bad temper and alcoholism, made him dangerous to others. 1988 in Pittsburgh, Stiles shot and killed his oldest daughter's fiancé on the eve of their wedding, because he didn't approve of him. He was brought to trial, where he openly confessed to killing the man and was convicted of third-degree murder. He was not sent to prison as no state institution was equipped to care for an inmate with ectrodactyly. Stiles was instead sentenced to 15 years probation. Stiles stopped drinking thereafter, and during this period remarried his first wife, Mary Teresa. However, he soon began drinking again and his family claimed that he became even more abusive. In 1992, Teresa and her son from a previous marriage, Harry Glenn Newman Jr., hired a 17-year-old sideshow performer named Chris Wyant to kill Stiles for $1,500. Wyant was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to 27 years in prison. Harry Newman was given life in prison for his role as the mastermind. Teresa has told the court, my husband was going to kill my family. I believe that from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry this happened, but my family is safe now. Nonetheless, she was given 12 years in prison for conspiracy to commit the murder of the lobster boy.